And back from the list to SM64, the 70 Star League Division 2. Right now with a hot match, actually. Tabaskov with his Proto Man 5. And I'm here with my co com Badronus. What is good, dude? What is up? I'm doing good. It's always good in the hood when you're commentating some Mario. And actually, I did not know how supposed to this match was until just a minute ago. Do whatever told me that this is the number one versus number two in the league. And. Really close in PB as well. Both of them have high 49. Exactly. Tabaskov is number one going into this and Proto number two. So this might be the decider of who's going to have the number one seed going into playoffs because they're pretty soon as well. Yeah, with only about two matches left to play, I guess it could depend. But in general, we're in the last third of the season. And with only a couple matches left, this is definitely the big one. Protoman, just with that consistency game. Taba, you know, a lot more of a high high ceiling player. So we'll see what he actually goes for and what he can pull off. Yeah, I so, think he's, what... actually, he's actually the kind of guy to go for crazy strats. For stuff like Tama Plus, for example, I believe he goes for in runs and races. I think. I hope I'm actually wrong did <laughs> for Tama Plus or not. But yeah, we'll see. I definitely think that he's the kind of guy to go for it, though. Yeah, he definitely yeah. would be. He's also going to be lag-reducing like a pro, I'm sure. Also doing some just cool things with, like, THI Secrets. He does a single jump over the fourth secret and a couple other, like, unique oh, yeah. shots that are actually really cool. That stress actually looks super cool. I haven't messed around with it yet, but it looks amazing. The single jump instead of long jump. I, I was messing around with it. At first I thought it was easier, and now I think it's like slightly harder, but I don't know. It's about the same. Yeah, I can not really comment on that since I haven't tried yet, but I, I believe you. I, it's a good I, just, I just think it it's a, looks cool. <laughs> Alright, and now, first, uh, well, second trick. After getting like dude, skip easily, that was a really slow one for Tavis. He doesn't really jump and go on from Proto. Yeah. All right, pretty good start. Tavis with that leap because of the JP advantage, being mm -hmm. having the faster intro there. And of course, both going for slide first. Oh, okay. actually, never mind. <laughs> I broke too soon. Yeah, okay, you got Protoman going right into Wombs. I don't know if he's actually been doing this every race. He must be, but I thought I saw him going for Wombs 9 in the past. I actually do remember comment commentating another match. It might have been Perlman as well who went for Worms 8 then. That's actually kind of weird because uh, it's like a free second that when you do, uh, like the castle movement saves a second when you yeah. do slide first. So in races, you would typically just go for it, yeah, right? It's, as I said, <laughs> a free second. Wow, I missed Candlemas. Not off to a great start. And I also hitting the ledge, yeah. <laughs> okay, not I'm the not best start for. For Proto, down about 10 seconds to Taba. We'll see if we can get Kamala's second try because with the way he does Womps, it's really the only big obstacle. He's been doing probably half cycle and the owl. I mean, he might do Owlis, but he usually doesn't push it too hard in Womps. Oh, damn. All right, let's see. So Taba's oh. already uh, saving one second and the Kamala's probably if he just gets this first try. So Beautiful good Owlis. Owlis. Almost. Actually, almost. Yeah, a little jump there, but still going to be saving time over the Owl, which is his normal go-to. So trying to compensate for that failed Candlemas. And sometimes that can be a bad strategy because then you end up just putting yourself deeper in a hole. But he was able to get Owlis for his try, so pretty good stuff. He is number two in the league after all. Definitely, he's actually not going for class right now, trying to do the other stuff first. Maybe, I, I don't know, it's kind of weird approach to me. I would just try Kainless again right away. He's actually going not going for half cycle like he's done in the past. So maybe he knows he's going to go up against Taba, who's going to go all the way out, getting the five coins at the start, and actually making the cycle still. Ooh, that was a bit. Oh, okay, not saving time anymore. The long jump. I pulled my blue coin. The blue coin actually fell down. All right, that was a really good start for Tabas, and just pulling <laughs> through with that. <laughs> and they are actually synced right now, although it's star apart. Taba and Protoman are taking care of this Wombs 100. So that's pretty interesting to see because 
Probably could have saved some time, but ended up not really saving any time at all. That was insane. He did uh, go for a long jump. I think he could have gotten a single jump as well, but at the end it doesn't really matter that much. Yeah. Just uh, a little bit slower because I had to wait on the moving platform and then didn't get the long jump too, but yeah, it doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, it always seems awkward when you have to pull back that much on a long jump. Yeah, it's a, a, no speed at all. And, you, and then you have to land on the platform, which might not be too easy sometimes to actually yeah. land on it. Alright, now the second Canlas attempt for Proto. Actually, okay, that's a weird choice. And Tabba's got missing, missing Alice. Wow, it's getting spicy now. Tabba with another mistake. Nice quick turn. But. And another failure! This is actually going way worse for him now. Proto. Probably gonna be in the lead after this, despite missing Candleness. Yeah, third Proto try. Actually tur turning it up. Oh my I god! He needs to get Ow. a red coin. Okay. I think what's happening is he's starting his triple jump too far away. That one should work. Yeah. All right. Oh, that was harsh though. And as I was saying, Proman is turning it up. Actually, got texture set up right away. Like, damn, I didn't expect he would go for it after not having any backups. If that would have failed. That would have been brutal. Yeah, Protoman kind of abandoning some of his comfy Womp strats to actually go for more like PB style speedrun. It's kind of insane. It's a weird, it's a weird approach again after missing that Candleless, just going all out, kind of. Oh man. Yeah, it's a really weird start to the race. Cause you have Taba missing Alice quite a bit. He's definitely, in, he's definitely behind. But usually Protoman would just kind of expect his opponent to make some mistakes and then do a super comfy womps. So he was actually trying to pull out some strats to make up for time loss. So a bit of a change in his philosophy. He's actually trying to be like the initiator rather than just to let the other p opponent kind of have, have the ball and have to react to it. That was like a uh, 616, not too bad I would say, after like missing Canlas like that. Mm -hmm. Still a solid time. Because missing like the setup canless loses actually so much. It's incredible. Yeah. So it's we'll not... It looks like it's not gonna be a sub seven from Tabber, so might be around tight with uh, Proto almost. Yeah, I think he missed Dallas three times, so that's like twenty five yeah, seconds. A huge, huge time loss. So Proto Man finishing his first slide star and tab beginning for the fortress. So we'll actually see where they are as opposed to each other once Proto goes back into the door. Well, Taba struggling on the castle movement a little bit. Proto is just barely in the lead. 718 door touch versus 722. Not that much, and that's insane. Uh Wamps is usually the kind of place where a lot goes wrong and sometimes not even just one trick. It either goes perfect or completely like awful. So they got a pretty decent one, I would say. Yeah. We're still alive, both runners still pretty close. Alright, Proto taking care of the star, losing about a second to the missed ground pound. Tab is gonna make that up. So they are pretty much tied. Could see a lead shift in Wind Cap and Dark World since it is so close. I don't know the flying I see. This flying is hard in this game. You can easily lose uh, control when you, especially if you go down like that, you lose get so much speed and it becomes harder and harder to control. But they both got yeah. the first two reds, so. Permanent yeah. lost some speed on the first turn, so Tabak caught up a good bit. Ooh, he's actually yeah. Right behind. Yeah, you seen the misc timer, like the miscellaneous one on the ROM, is like so useful for wing cap because you usually don't know exactly how fast you're going or when you touch a coin it's like, oh that was slow or oh that was fast. It really kind of changes how you think about flying. Definitely. It's also like kind of the same with uh, swimming as well. I think swimming is something where you barely see if you lost a lot of time or not because the turning is actually so precise. Yeah, now Dark yeah, World, the, one of the big run killers, easily to die anywhere. Yeah, Dark Roller, there's probably like a hundred different ways to die. And even sometimes you'll 
uh, experience something completely new, like these elevators can have some funky behavior. You can get like shocked by by amps and then you know knocked around by these like cheese block and all that. It's just a very what the why <laughs> they did the same movement. That's insane. <laughs> That's so, both so much time. Oh, the Tab actually movement. took the lead by doing normal movement where Proto had to side flip. And it's, it's also a, a slight timer desync, so uh, it might still oh, be kind of tight. But it was still insane right. to see the same movement to like uh, kill the time that they had, the extra time. <laughs> That's cool. So. Have them maybe a, like a second or two ahead, but they're pretty close. Well, that was a strong throw. Get some strong arms. I guess so. <laughs> this is still really solid. Um, a low ten, definitely really good for a race. Yeah, if you say that he missed um three owlists, that, that's a really good time. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, yeah. Uh, my first be like, only, only all is really for Tavos, and everything else was pretty clean. All the sky jump. I actually saw uh, Momo having a lot of trouble, also from the Division Two, doing sky jump earlier. So let's see how this goes. Tab, we're gonna have to slow down a bit to avoid the crappy camera. But we're also going a bit higher on the slope, so I don't know if that lost him a bit of time to Tava, but the flying seemed about the same. He's still really, really close. I don't think there was much of a difference, I think. Yeah. yeah. Maybe just a little bit. You're pretty close. Going into CCM. And as always, I personally think it's a really chill stage after walking to work. Yeah. Is this a better camera for Tava? Does it save time or maybe reduce lag you saw you do like a mario cam to go from bob to ccm oh i actually I may, it might be i actually didn't really know about that or think about it much and right away tab is nailing that and nailing that walkie to work let's go let's clean yeah it looks a bit sketchy because that's a, a blind wall kick he actually went in the mario cam before wall kicking so the camera was stuck like above the the sheet of snow you couldn't see mario at all a bit Just scary. Had, to, had to kind of feel it, I guess, yeah, to, to know, know where he is. I mean, I'm sure it's not that hard, but still. Yeah, uh, if, I, I think even if you're used to the other camera, you can, like, um, you're used to the timing of when to wall kick. Yeah. Let's see if Proto can keep up. Oh, that looks no. almost, almost good. Too low of a wall kick there. Oh, it doesn't get the a... long jump wall kicks though. That was sad. That looks so good. And then he, he I think first he first yeah. yeah. Big oof. Oh, interesting camera going into the chimney from Tabo. I guess just to line up the angle. Tabo does a lot of things to... Like, he's a very scientific player almost in the way he thinks about the game and what he needs to do for every star. It's like, alright. So if I want to hold this angle... You know, how can I replicate this every time? It's like, oh, I can do a Mario Kim kind of thing. And I think those are really useful. It gives you less to think about, like, if you get the inputs to your muscle memory. Yeah, definitely. That, I mean, that just makes it easier to... Yeah, to just get it every single time. It, that angle looks really consistent to me, what he did to end up this chimney. And we actually do have uh, also CCMA team from both players. So no routing differences. This is kind of scary. We've seen quite a few penguin meltdowns. <laughs> Not only did I saw Bro Mario enter the secret uh, passage, but we also yeah. saw the penguin falling off as well. And that, you can't do anything about that, the penguin falling off. Yeah. That is like one of the few things in this game that is completely not your fault. It's actually really sad. <laughs> so. It is. Very sad. Tab is having a really solid start there, though. The missing missing a corner already, so he has to be really careful. Yeah, I think it's smart to let. Ooh, okay, he had to get behind the penguin in there. I, I was gonna say it was smart to let the penguin go in front, so you don't get bodied out of any coins. But it looked like he's having trouble passing the penguin to get the next pair. 
Getting every coin. Just perfect 100 mm. coins. If you do have like 101, so you, if we didn't skip one coin, this long jump would actually be quite hard to like do because the star would be would spawn further behind. Yeah. No problem this way. And it doesn't seem like it would be that much of a difference since it's just one coin, but actually since the ice slopes upwards, you can only make it with a very a particular kind of long jump. You pretty much have to have a straight angle as well. Yeah, you have to be really, really close to the ice before you actually start your long jump. And Proto as well, having no issues doing CCM18. He actually didn't go for the safety red. He had a few more coins, but nothing too bad. I mean, Tabas did save some time over him since Tabas didn't go for the safety red, but yeah. Still really, really close. Quick boo kill from Taba, but I think he struggled getting back into the cage radius. Probably lost him the, the amount of time it saved. I really should study more because I'm actually not too sure on like what kind of boo kill you want to get, especially for the second re entry. So I always still do a ground pound. I, I think it's optimal to also dive somehow into him. Actually, I actually don't know either, so I'll just watch Taba and assume that he's doing the best one. <laughs> That's that's a good strategy. Honestly, I think no matter how good you are or like how new you are, you could watch uh, one of Tabo's runs and pick up a lot of things that you can do no matter your skill level. I definitely Especially see stuff does. that, uh, yeah, and definitely see stuff that other people hmm. are not doing too. He actually did a jump dive. Okay, I don't think that's too optimal, but I don't want to judge because I don't know for sure. So. <laughs> Ooh, I would the, ask in the chat, but I don't want to. I don't want to deter his focus because we got SSL coming up, and you don't want to make him like stop concentrating on pillarless. <laughs> Definitely, that's a super, super scary trick, and it goes wrong so so often. I've yeah. seen a lot of deaths on pillarless already. Like you see it done well, and it's like, well, yeah, he just did the thing but you see someone mess up like 20 times like oh i guess yeah. that can happen also <laughs> then you see someone having a mario meltdown on that bomb yeah can sometimes really you just easily. can't even grab a big bomb and then it gets a little bit triggering because you can't even attempt the trick properly yeah stuff like that actually just ruins your flow you have like you nailed everything before like close to perfect or just as good as you want and then just this one bomb grab ruins everything for you so let's see. All right, big bomb for Taba. Not going nice for top plus, but keeping it safe. Still a really fast regrab there. Yeah, smooth. Super clean. I put him and probably now... gonna do the same plus. Oh, or he's gonna get his face blown up. Yeah. And... Has to try again. They're two backup stars, so it's not too big of a deal, but it's still you don't want to mess up plus. It just ruins your mentality. Mm. Because and you bro, have to... he's gotta watch out! Okay. okay. <laughs> the reactions were good on it. <laughs> Probably had good reactions, so all good. Just w wanted to make it a little bit more entertaining for us. Yeah. How about also wanting to make it more entertaining doing that kind of unique murder camera for talents? And I don't know if that actually does reduce lag. I don't think Talon's normally lags, but it looks oh, I... cool. It's like a bottom-up view. And there we go, the second try plus for Proto. Look. No! Oh, it doesn't get the double jump! Yeah, oh. just mistiming the glitchy double jump and taking the first death of the race to that one. Proto going to be falling a bit farther behind while Tab is going to be up to a pretty good lead. And this is leaving Proto Man in a tight spot. He's got to get it now, but he can't get the bomb. He's gonna have to go for his other backup. He's only got one more backup star, and then I, I wonder if he's gonna retry again. Like that already looked horrible. So if he messes up now, he doesn't have any any other stars to grab while being in the la level. Yeah, we'll see. Like if you can get one plus and you do HMC early, like you could still make it work. But really, you'd like to get plus at some point, or like you have to take the shell. But that's pretty rough. That throw looks so scary, but he, he's got, got it again, the big bomb. Right, let's see if he can get over the hill, and he's got it. That looks good. This time here, wants to get in and ensure it. 
So Taba, wow, off to like a minute lead or so. Taba's trying to go for the triple jump, but his angle a little bit off. The triple jump won't kept stride. Sadly didn't get it, it looks super fast too. Can get so yeah. much speed on this big kick. The the triple jump dive though, you barely have enough room to make it. It's crazy. Yeah, you have to first either get a really fast uh, side flip into double jump, like pick up speed from that, or you have yeah. to triple jump on the very end of the platform, which often results in a burn. It's pretty tough. I actually don't really do that myself. Okay, I, I thought he was gonna go for a different, like slightly harder. Lava boost start, but it was still really good. That was a clean yeah. lava boost. I think he did a cure boost. So, a good mix between speed and consistency. And it always looks a bit weird, but he made it up. Just perfect. Oh, Proto. Trying to get the recoil bonk into the star, but bad angle. Hey, Tavis is just not slowing down whatsoever. Accelerating. Well, now it kind of gets spicy for Taba, getting the elevator star, losing some time. Proto can catch up, but not really doing so well on the volcano entry. All right, going for his lava boost, and that he one's was gonna really, work. He was really yeah. close. Oh. <laughs> he wow. was also really close to that. He was really close to the uh, rock, is what I wanted to say. Yeah. It, you can easily like slide off and then you die, pretty much. Also, the way he set up his triple jump, he had to pull back. Oh, goes back. Taba! He's actually dead because of a missed long jump. Oh, man. What happened there is he tried to slow down to land on the box that the flame comes out of. But because he slowed down so much, he couldn't make it with a burn. And that's why he took a death. And now just looking so much closer. Something... I swear, okay, this holy star good. causes... A surprising amount of deaths for it being not one of the hardest stars in the run. Definitely, you didn't miss a side flip. He's have to kill this bully some other way, and this is gonna take a long time. Still taking a lot of hits there. Oh man, it's something you don't really expect from like Lava as well. In my opinion, it's like after Lava Boost, you pretty much good to go. That's how I always think in runs. But then you go into races and you see this kind of stuff. Except for Rias, it's not that easy. Yeah. Um, I don't think anything in Leaf Lavin is particularly hard unless you do Pro Boost or you do like one of the very optimal strats like the Ground Pound Bully Kill on the right, which Tub is not going for, or like the Chill Jump Dive Wing Cap. But, you know, it's, it's one of those stages where if you really want to push it and go fast, you know, you're risking a lot, a lot more mistakes because burning cost time and also you can die definitely and now it's i actually didn't check tavis time but it doesn't look like such a huge lead from it looked way worse in the ssl all right we got the dot touch on 22 33 i believe pro is also gonna go for hmc late so yeah see. Perfect. No routing differences out of the lava land. So I think Proto Man usually has a little bit better pace than this coming out of Lethal Lava Land just because of Pless. But still, this is not too bad. And I like think. 26. Can... Yeah. Okay, 26 second difference? Yeah. Okay. On the dot touch. So not too bad at all, for sure. Nice swimming from Taba. You know, I think of him and Jogi and like are the same in a lot of ways. They're like the most like scientific uh, players in a lot of ways. I also imagine them to be like practicing a lot together. I don't know. That's always how I envision them, I guess. Do they <laughs> actually yeah, they... practice like together that's or like high, in calls? I approach. I, that's what I think because of, as you just said, that's why I think they are so common in their strides because they do practice together and search for stuff okay. like together. At, at least that's oh, what that I makes sense. think. Yeah, for sure. Taba going for front sub. Look at this camera. Unless he kind of is debating us, but I think he's going for front nah, sub. Yeah, he's, he's in there. Ooh. 
He was very confident can have a match. Oh, leg reduction too. That was the best one that I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Guess the weird jump dive without touching that fence. Uh, yeah, you didn't thingy. have to roll out on the like you see people roll out on the top of the sub and then do a jump dive in at the star. Taba had no need for that. He pretty much jumped like the actual jump took him all the way to the star on its own. I that think that nuts. actually looks a little bit faster too. Uh, I I don't know. You don't have to like. Um, well, the side came was the lag reduction, but yeah, I think yeah, that's true. A really fast one as well. And you can like ramp on the star, like you're right below the star once you land too. Yeah. I don't know how replicable that is because I think for that to happen, you probably have to have a certain angle, so we'll Definitely. see. Definitely, you have to have a really like rightish angle, I guess. I don't know, you hold right, so something like that. Alright, but Proto Man and Taba, Fire Sea time. Wait, did Ta Proto not get Manta? Nah, he didn't, not yet. He, I, I don't know, he decides to just go for it afterwards, so. Okay. Both fighters are looking really solid so far though. No big mess up, so Lava Boost earlier is still in for both. Yeah. Oh, Proto Man trying to pace himself but not getting the fourth red coin. <laughs> now we actually have a sink in movement again. Just not the star. Oh, but Taviskov oh. failing the triple jump wall kick. And that's another rip. I don't think he's going to be getting a recycle. Yeah, that's going to be really close. He might with a triple jump. Actually, Proto Man can make sure. it. Tablet, yeah. Can only grab the red coin. Ooh, we missed that one. Not gonna be able to get the good ending. Just gonna go for the two burns, it seems. I know. Tablet's gotta be really careful there. And hitting the flame shooter on the that seventh red coin. That looked good to me. I'm not sure how that hurt him. Okay. Oh, two HP. Gotta watch out. Okay. Takes another fall, okay. <laughs> well, I, was, actually... I was about to say, he, he's got the like good ending going, but then he got burned and he already lost time over Proto again. I, I thought he was gonna like be on par with that fire scene with Proto Man, even though Proto yeah. got really alleys. Proto Man doesn't seem like the guy to flex, but he also he always does this like massive dive into the lava and it's fun to watch. <laughs> I think his Bowser jumps on the stage. Proto Man, like Tab is just gonna slide normally, but Tab, but Proto just dolphin kinda dives into lava. I, I, kind of something he Whoa, always Oh, the And that's even bigger for Proto Man, making up so much time here. He could probably take it to the bank and have leftover for for a new house. He's, he's gonna be so close to Tabas leaving uh, DD now. Yeah, honestly, because you know Tabas still gotta grab the key and all that, so Proto is probably not even ten seconds behind. Missing yeah, that throw gonna, is huge. Just gonna get these rings. These, they can be really wanky sometimes. But no problem. Gets every every one of the first ones. As soon as you grab like the second, if you miss the first ring, you actually yeah. like the hit the hitboxes are really weird on these rings. And then <laughs> we've seen I'm some not they exist at all, to be honest. Yeah, they're, they're not there. Like whatsoever. half the time they seem normal. Half the time it's like, why isn't I'm like, where, where's the secret? You know, you can't find it. Yeah, sometimes it's like, oh, I, la last time I swam kind of downish, so I'm gonna try again, and then it just doesn't work for whatever reason. <laughs> just, mm -hmm. what? That's definitely I'm not the middle. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's so weird. All right, Taba. The jump kick drag on the triple jump wall kick. That was hot. That was. Oh, it's a nice. Um, methodology from Protoman. I think by ground pounding, you minimize that RNG, so it might be a tiny bit slower, but doesn't have to chase the coins. But you might have to chase the Skeeter a little bit, gotta hurry up to get these blues before they start flashing. Not too bad, that wasn't the best. I mean, the Skeeter RNG can be really crucial sometimes, but that wasn't the worst either, so. Yeah, we'll see if Tabba goes for this double box kick. Maybe on the second one too, no. I don't know if the second one even saves much time, but you can I, I still was, do it. Yeah, I don't think it really, like, pays off at all because it's such a weird angle, too. And I don't think it's really much faster. Because you have to position yourself, too. So, did Taba... Well, all these coins. <laughs> did Taba just do the elevator and then 100 coins? We still has to do top of the town. Oh, uh, yeah, he first got the elevator star and then 100 coins. 
you see people will do the Tobes and Walk Access up pair, but maybe Tabo doesn't even want to do it for Top of the Town because it saves less. Yeah, that might be the case. And it's, yeah, a little bit weirder maybe, the movement, because the water is up, but... It's, it's I mean, kind of weird. I always like to do 100 coins first too, to just get it out of the way. Yeah. Although... Didn't really think about splitting the other two stars up. And, okay, this is a coin, they're not too bad. Alright, good 100 coin from Taba. You know, had to chase some coins a little bit, but probably saving a couple of seconds over Proto Man. Even though Proto Man didn't make any huge mistakes, he had to chase the Skeeter, and was a bit slow in getting around the lower area. Chojo walking from Proto Man, though, this is so unlike him. He's actually going out of control with the strats. Taking oh, down this Chojo so... wall kick. And actually, a really smooth elevator star. I don't know what Proto Man had for breakfast today, but he's feeling confident. <laughs> And I was about to say, um, it was actually good when you mentioned Tabasco's uh, 100 coins, that he chased some coins, because he was allowed to like just let one coin at the end go from the Chucky RNG. Yeah. Probably helped him a lot, because you're only allowed to miss one coin, and then if you miss one more, you have to go for backup coins. So it might have been good to chase those in the beginning. Alright, we'll see if Tabu goes for a second jump jump wall kick here. Looks like he's setting up for it. He's going he for is. The jump kick that one will work. Nice job from Taba. It's like a second, right? With that jump kick over the side flip. It oh, really... action... <laughs> that's, a, that's a bit... Um... Oh, actually, Protoman not doing it for the second one. So I think he realized that, like, all right, I got away with one. I'm not going to go for two. So... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. Just going to take the free time save for the first one and then... <laughs> Run me come back to this though because the chip jump ball kick with the non side flip setup it really depends like how fast you go for it because the oh yeah the angles are just different we'll see if Tabu goes for the single jump though not taking the secret the... though that's that's the risk that's the risk right there and, and not getting the backup and now Proto can actually catch up a lot if he gets this. Trouble jump and he's looking good. No leg reduction, but that's fine. He's still gonna get the secret. Actually, see so, down. Lack 2 cam is actually gonna kill him a little bit. Getting bought by the mini Goomba. So there we go. Could have saved there. Could have saved yeah, some time. Yeah, that's the thing about the the single jump strat. You actually have to hold back on the rollout a little bit because if you have like a really good triple jump dive with a lot of speed, you can get around the cannon pretty easily. By the cannon, I mean where the cannonballs come out of. And. With the way Taba does it, to get the single jump, you have to pull back a little bit. And so if you miss the secret, you have like no speed at all. And it kind of leads to more time loss. Oh, damn. So, yeah, he just missed it and didn't slow down at all and seen. Oh, well. Did you get the mountain clip, though? Yeah. Again, saving some time on Proto in terms of like strat differences. That was a really clean one, too. Yeah, Proto Man going for the classic. Uh, kind of mountain climbing movement, but still not too much slower. It's like half a second. Oh, for a second See? I thought uh, that Tabasco was going to go for, go for counterclockwise. That would have been cool. Although... I, I think... oh, maybe, maybe he was. Yeah, we had to save and quit from Proto oh. Man! Oh no! That sucks, he was so close to Tabasco, and then now he's, he's probably lost about 15-20 seconds. Yeah, it's an upstairs, so he's gonna walk a lot before he can re-enter the level. Honestly, it's way worse if you do it in basement. Upstairs, it's just up, upstairs and around the corner. But yeah, basement, basement, you have to go through more noise, doors. That's still something like lobby would have been alright-ish, I guess. But yeah, upstairs yeah. is hurting. Oh man, he was getting there too. That's unfortunate. Alright, so finishing up the Piranha Plants, he's probably about 30 seconds behind. I've been Tabba. actually more, I believe. Yeah, actually you're right. He's definitely more than 30. It's on like 20 A Tabo though! And the bottom! Thought... Look at that! He's down all the way by the crazy box! And just like that... <laughs> Proto is about to catch up a little bit again. Man, that's right. You see the worst case scenario when you're going out there is like, you know, you try to do the, the jump dive too early and you slide down and you have to do the triple jump again. But Taiba actually took it to a whole nother level, fell all the way down, and then 
the bonk actually carried him up another level. Yeah. Good thing never he didn't die. Him. I was like, is he gonna die? Please no. But never, never seen a bonk like that there. Usually, really, people only slide down. I've never seen anyone take such a huge fall. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know what he actually hit. That seems so weird. When Pearl has to go for a backup, but. <gasps> Oh, doesn't manage it, to get a good angle. Goes follow the red up. Red they got some up. lag that, like the shy guy or something, flew down there. And got it in his face. I don't know what's going on. Proto's going for reds. So in the maze, it can be a bit tricky. A lot more lag to deal with. Side wall kick. Okay. Doesn't get the raw, but still, I didn't think he would go for that. He had a little bit of safe, safe movement uh, for the reds. Uh, mushroom movement, yeah. But then goes for the side flip. All right, I see you. Yeah, I think Protoman's actually been upping his strat game, maybe for this match in particular, or getting ready for playoffs. Because even though he's had some some more mistakes than usual, he's still playing pretty well and getting most of the harder strats out of the way, without losing more time than they save. Definitely, might just be practice. That could be the case. I just <laughs> want to try out all the hard strats. When Tavascope are going really safe on the mushrooms. Evan right. dying, of course, so. That's a weird angle. Still goes for the side flip. Alright. Doesn't get the raw out either. Alright, so pretty slow from Taba. You know, the maze was a bit better than the mushrooms. But still, about even Protoman probably picking up a few more seconds. But he also missed the triple jump. I mean, the log ball kick here. So I actually have no idea how their TTMs compare right now. That's already hard to say. I think I would guess they're kind of around the same because Proto. Oh, the breeze is from Tavascope. I'm not so sure we're gonna see that from Proto actually. Yeah, it's one of those strats where you have to have a pretty specific setup for it to work. It's really, really precise. You have to get the right amount of hate and. Triple jump, walk peak spot, I guess. Yeah. A really hard uh, star. Pretty sure you need an like a like a first or second frame wall kick too, although I could be wrong about that. I I'm not so sure. But yeah, definitely a first and second to work for sure. That's <laughs> that for sure. Breezes from Proto Let's attempting match Tavascope. And doesn't get no. anything. Yeah, he was close, but couldn't ground pound and get the clip. So losing a bit more time there. Yeah, even with that massive fall, I think Tavisco still had a overall more solid TTM than Proto. Like Proto yeah, also had, had a fall and then also messed up Breezeless, which is even wor worse than just taking the Breeze. You just need more time. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a bit like missing the Owl, or like taking the Owl and Owl is where it's less time than if you missed Alice, but it's even more for Breezeless because it only saves like two and a half seconds if you get it. And oftentimes you just and it's take harder. a... Yeah, and oftentimes you just take a huge... Um, you take a lot of damage and get squished because of the fall height. Yeah. Ooh, actually going for the same stars at the same time, that's kind of weird. You, often you just see people go for the snowman's head. I yeah, probably just likes to leave it for last, or at least like he does the really easy ones first, and I don't know why. It's super really weird. It, it, for me, it's definitely always the hard ones first, and then yeah. the easy stuff. Or at least if you don't think about it that way, think of it as like don't do the backups for starters you haven't done. So like definitely, if you mess up yeah. Snowman's head, then you can't do well from the freezing pond. It's like kind of a waste. Protoman did go quite safe there though. Went Fair for the enough. triple jump wall kicks instead of the triple jump slide wall kick. All right, but but then again, you could he could have messed up the beginning and then he didn't have that uh, deep freeze backup, for example. So that's still kind of odd. Yeah, you know, apart from the obvious huge mistake that Taba had in TTM, he was able to recover, and the good Snowman's Land is gonna keep him in good stead heading in Hazy Maze Cave. So Proto's actually looking to be in danger here. 
we'll have to see how Tippy goes because Tabba gonna be definitely going for some more ambitious strats up there in Tippy. Although I could be wrong, Proto Man might have something something spicy in store for us in a few minutes. But you know, Tabba, a bit more likely to make big mistakes as well. Definitely. It's <laughs> it's always hard to tell with Tippy. Um I see sometimes people just go crazy nuts and get everything. But you yeah. often also see a lot of meltdowns, which is more likely the case. But yeah. Everything's still open for this race, I would say. Yeah, I think even more than the first half of the game, if you compare D1 and D2, it's really like the upstairs and Tippy that like the best players will do consistently as opposed to crappy players like me. <laughs> but even <laughs> good players like Tabba and Proto Man will probably have a bit more either inconsistency or it's just not going to work out so well for them. Whereas I'm sure if someone's on world record pace like Tago, even though TikTok clock is hard and it's killed plenty of his pace runs, but he's just really good at it and won't lose time unnecessarily in general. I don't know. Yeah, I, I agree, you 100%. It's like getting, a bad tippy for Tiger is like a great tippy for Poto Man, probably. <laughs> that could be the case, yeah. And it's definitely is upstairs and tippy that I, I would always like, if people ask me what they should practice, it, I would definitely suggest upstairs and tippy because the late game is so much more important. Since you do the early game a lot of the times anyways, because of you reset a lot, you know. Well, you could just do more early game and just reset more in Womps. <laughs> That sounds like fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks like uh, Tava's actually on... With a really, really good tip, he would still be on the 49 pace, but... I don't know if we can uh, expect that, such a good I don't know, that's tippy. really... I, I like to think of it as about 9 minutes from when yeah, you finish HMC. It's more, that's more like it. But uh, with a really good tip, it would still be possible to get a 49. <laughs> I think if you compared like everyone's some of bests. Ooh. Proto Man struggling to get Christmas Miracle though. And this is even worse because he's got to be competitive in Tippy. And this star is giving him a lot of trouble. He won't be able to get I know get he's not going to have enough hate to. He, he, won't, he won't have enough hate to press the switch anyways. I don't know why yeah. he still went for it. And missing the backup. It's got to reset your camera angle, Proto. And that's going to give Taba a really comfy buffer that he wouldn't have had otherwise. Now he yeah, can he make like to... one or two big mistakes and still win the game. Yeah, he doesn't have to like feel under pressure because he has... <laughs> For a second I thought I was a bonk. <laughs> All right. But he's fine, he's got like hit bounce. Really, really good pull, pull grab. Goes for the ledge grab. All right, you can wall kick off of those platforms there, but yeah, you can just go save like Tabard did there. Koto was trying to do the long jump strats for rolling rocks, and then he got bad boulder RNG. That's why I don't really like Bopped. the long jumps there. You couldn't really do anything about it since he didn't see the boulder in time, and he was really close to it as well, so even harder to. Oh my death. God! That's the first death from Taba in the race, and it comes in Rainbow Ride Tricky Triangles is one of the tougher stars in Tippy, but that's going to give Proto Man a bit of an opening. Maybe about 15-ish seconds gone for Taba. And, then and another on. one! Another one, the same mistake. Is this Is this this kind of stuff where he, he's just, he doesn't know how to correct that mistake. It's a, like a mental block. You just saw the same mistake twice. And it's I'm not even sure block. what it is. It's, if it's bad positioning or pressing A too early. Okay, got it the third time. But he's only one yeah. star ahead of Proto now. I definitely can understand how that that happens easy. I I lost a lot of runs to that kind of mistake as well because the walk is actually hard to get. But now Proto can actually gain so much time back. Wanna see if he'll go for the wall kicks. Um probably not. He it wouldn't have actually saved much because of the way he had to turn on the pull. That was an interesting, like, triple jump dive into the pole. I've never seen anyone do that before. Usually, there's just triple jump. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was much slower. It probably was a bit slower, but not too much. Nice reds from Taba, getting a clean fifth red grab. 
Right. And, and a death from Coda Man. Yeah, it's nope. gonna be tough. The wall kicks, while you've all done them quite a few times if you're at Proto's or Tabas level, you know, they can still be a huge issue. Definitely. It's like, you you just saw he didn't have any, that much speed and triple jump really early, so he couldn't do much about it after, like, triple jumping. Pretty much dead. Yeah. And now, Tabas already out of there. Like... Took two deaths, but other than that, that was a solid rim right for him. Yeah, we got Proto Man. He's still behind, but it's down to TikTok clock. And since Taba took two deaths already, it's not over. Is it gonna like continue, or is Taba actually gonna be able to hold his ground a bit? He's still on 50 pace, I'm sure. Oh, it should be a good run. Another fall. Uh, was it just the same triple jump wall kick or is it something different? Yeah, I think that was the same one. I just saw him bonking, but I think it was the same. And Tab was actually having a really good TC1 at the beginning. Oh, no big mess ups. One. And the same thing that Tava did. Are we watching yeah. an instant replay? And now there's this third death actually. He already took one in the beginning and now <laughs> just the same mistakes as Tava's. Oh man. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Oh, That's he's actually. Cool. Yeah, this is so tough for Poto because that was his big time save in Rainbow Ride, and he did the exact same thing as Taba. Two deaths, a uh, nice, you know, one two punch, and that's kind of a knockout. Taba's gonna have to make some big mistakes now. That's probably the hardest turn to be TDC 100 if you like the RNG and heart movement everywhere. Yeah. He's gotten that. Oh, that's another that's one four. for Proto. Oh. He's at zero lives. If he game overs, it's over. Yeah, he won't even get any points. He did save and quit in like THI, I think. That's true. He's still but going for the wall kick. He doesn't care. Okay, he's got it. That's, does he get this the, is still does scary. He... That's does still... He... Okay, what's he going to do? What story is he going to go for? Is he going to grab the pole? And do, do right side maybe? Up. Yeah, that's it's heartbreaking from Proto Man. You know, he was pretty close, but I think this single star might actually be sealing the deal. And you know, we talked about Proto's consistency. I think this is one of the strats that he doesn't normally do in races. He will just do the comfy right side, and it is pretty comfy. But you know, to save four seconds, he ended up losing like two minutes. And almost the game over too. Now and it's not over. TC you can die easily as well. It's not like yeah I got through him right. Now you have to go through the TCC. Yeah. I would say TDC is harder than Rainbow Ride, but maybe not. It's definitely not as hard to like. It's a little bit harder what? to die. Okay. Is he going for reds and not hundred? Yeah, points? he's he's going for reds first. Um, odd decision again in in, in his star order. Hmm. But it's not as easy to die in TDC as Rainbow Ride, but it's still, you can die quite easily, if you're not careful. Okay. But Tavis has actually had a pretty nice flow going. He's had a couple of few hiccups, but it's nothing compared to what Proton just had in Rainbow Ride. Ooh, first see wall kick. Okay, They're actually doing the same star right now. Alright, top a nice movement here. I think the ending is actually a bit trickier than it looks. Just to get a good single jump, like, you know, to not get too much height on it and then to turn well and long jump. But, you yeah, know, I, decent I from both. I think it's kind of insane the people that go for the a firsty there to not even have to roll out. It's, I, I think that's super hard to do. Yeah, I think, you know, if you get a first seed by chance, it can be cool, but if you ever, like, go for it on purpose, you're gonna mess it up sometime. Yeah, definitely. It's really easy to bong on the cage or on the, uh, moving pendulums. Or, uh, moving bars, actually. And another amp shot. Well, actually, no, Permanent didn't get amp before, but he missed one coin, got a backup red, and then got amp. So not the best start to his 100. 
Quick yeah, yeah. is all done with TikTok clock. That was pretty good. I didn't see anything huge from him. Just a few. Criticize. He had a little, little bit of trouble on pendulums. Um, he like bonked and then had to set the wall kickers back up. But other than that, I didn't really notice anything huge either. Like anything. <laughs> That's not even huge. Like I was yeah. solid TTC. And he could still get a 50, which is proof of that. Even with two deaths in Rainbow Ride, this is still a pretty good run. Oh, Bits of a struggle, you know, debating if he actually wants to go in and Bits and finish the run. But this is also tough for Potaman because he's been doing so well in the league. He's been up like top. Oh my god, a death from. That's going to steal the 53, but most importantly, that's going to give Potaman some more points on the board if he can finish in the next few minutes. And now he has to do it again and see. Maybe, maybe there's a lot of other places where he could fall down as well. Like, he's still going fast after that death. He didn't want to slow down at all. It goes from running into that jump <laughs> kick. Oh, and Proto not being able to land on the hand, dude. Oh, Tabba, do you see these long yeah, jumps being strapped? There's so much going on. That was insane. I don't see anyone really going for those long jumps. I feel jumps like ever. that's a good bit slower. <laughs> I, I just managed to get moving right side though. Yeah, I don't know. Tau is a bit of a nut. He, he's nuts. <laughs> he is, for sure. I Showing think that he's best... definitely worthy of his number one spot in the standings. Yeah, he was also a replacement too, so I think he started out like a game down. So I don't know if he's lost any more than like maybe one game in the league so he's really been killing it he has also had some really good pace runs into the tippy he tied his pb in a race and i think got a low 50 in another one <laughs> you know tava, i have to say i gotta applaud tava he's you know spam r pressing but that doesn't waste time like pressing the start button so That's maybe it's fixed the rage pausing <laughs> oh but another missed throw just a few couple of million more and maybe Proto is going to be up there as well. But already the second one. This, this seems like it is it. Is it. Well, let's look around. Oh. For, oh, he's actually too far away for any of these bomb, bombs, I think. Is that actually too far away? I think it was, yeah. Because otherwise he would have to need the bounce, but the platforms were already away. So he couldn't have bounced. Huh. Like you literally can't throw from <laughs> far enough yeah. if you're in the middle? They are the rage pros, oh no. Tabas here almost got it. Tabas actually losing a lot of time here. And but there he it could is. finish like less than a minute and a half behind. Like, Tabas was on 50 pace in the sky and he's gonna get a 52. So, definitely his worst stage of the run. Yeah, actually, true. Just so much time in this stage. Yeah, but there he wasn't in a close race, but he's still gonna come out with the win and maintain his number one seed. But it's still not over. Proto can still grab a couple of points. Still in that range. Let's see if he can go strong. Gets the left side triple jump walk kick. Alright, he's gonna be on a mid 53 pace coming into the pipe. Not his best run, and honestly, it was a lot of just tricky triangles that probably cost him two minutes. <laughs> So. Yeah, for sure. That and other than that, the safe and quit, and yeah, Tippy. That yeah. that rainbow eye was just awful. So well, I want to ask him about his strats. I know we have a game coming up, but you might want to see like what his mindset was going for some harder things than he usually does, and if he's gonna actually like continue doing that tricky triangle strat, or if he's gonna go back to the the old comfy way. Uh, I don't know if you mentioned, but does he usually go for that in runs? He I, doesn't, think he, I think he does the right side, so he doesn't have to do the hard wall kick. Oh, okay. Like the one that he and Tabba both died to. Alright, and still grabbing a couple of points in that three minute range. Yep. Hey, Tabba. Hey, hey, hey what's up? Thanks. Yo. Yeah. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Hey, how do you feel? Hey, that hey, tippy hey, was, hey. Uh, that tippy was cool. 
that ran right in bits, I mean. Yeah, felt pretty good. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I didn't, like, watch the race. I'm pretty surprised I won. It was so awful. Like, from LLL on, my mentality was pretty ruined. So I, I think um, your upstairs was actually pretty decent, honestly. Yeah. That that was not bad apart from one mistake in TTM that cost like twenty seconds or something or fifty. Yeah, I don't know that. Apart from that, yeah, it was actually quite close. Proto did save and quit, which set you guys apart a little bit more. But in oh. Tippy, that's that's when <laughs> things went down. You died to Tricky Triangles a lot, and then Proto as well. He did the same thing, just even more. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, that was not fun. Yeah, oh, no. no problem. GG's, dude. Yeah. yeah, GG. I was trying to do harder strats because, you know, once I got my 49, I was like, okay, now it's time to, like, learn hard stuff. And yeah. um, it kind of screwed me over. And I just didn't play that great, I guess. <laughs> well, yeah I, I like the, yeah. I had, like, the reverse mentality. I was like, okay, just do consistent stuff and then Rainbow <laughs> Ride. And, of course, I had to die twice as well. But, yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, I was talking to D whatever. I'm like, wait, Proto is actually doing like completely different things than I'm used to seeing because not only like was your your WOM slot faster, but like a few things like in the middle of the run too. So, do you think you'll be doing a lot of that stuff in the future, or do you think you'll try to like go back to your old race strats? Maybe in races I'll go back to a little more consistent. But when I'm doing uh, PB <clears throat> attempts, I'm just gonna go all out now because I have a 49 and I don't yeah care anymore. Well, congrats on the 49. Thanks. Definitely. How do you feel like you guys? Um, this was probably the race for the number one seed in the standings. So Tabitha's yeah, probably gonna take yeah. that home. It seems like. Uh, is it? I don't know. I think I've like three more races, right? So two. I yeah, you're not... still. I, I mean, no, the Saints. You are number one, and Pro is number two at the moment. So it was actually a pretty mm, important yeah. match, match right now. Yeah. Indeed. I mean, I yeah, I, I was like, I was really expecting to lose this. I don't know because Pro is so consistent and he has done so well. And I don't know, my performance was bad today all over. I mean, it was bad now, but I mean, whatever. <laughs> yeah, as I said earlier, just honestly, for both of you, TP just completely ruined it. Yeah, mm. the rest was not. The rest was acceptable, I would say. A lot consistent. <laughs> A lot of consistent. <laughs> 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 yeah, acceptable like is the problem. I, I just want to. I just want that's how, that's like, how I right, I'll let you back into the league next year, but you got to step it up, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that's just how I would feel. I, I, if I played like that, I would just say I was okay, but nothing too good. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't fun. feel any. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> All yeah, right. Well, for sure. Uh, well, yeah. we have another race coming up, so we're probably going to have to scoot along with the schedule. Thank you guys both for the great race. It was a lot of fun. Thank you, of course, D whatever. It was amazing. Um, really, really fun commentating with you. Likewise. All right. We will see you later. Actually, I mean, we have another 70-star race coming up, but different commentators. Peace. Bye-bye.